Kayla Brace. Alternative energy is an umbrella term that refers to any surrogate source of usable energy. Historically, we see coal as an alternative to wood, petroleum as an alternative to whale oil, alcohol as an alternative to fossil fuels, and more recently, renewable energy as an alternative to non-renewable energy. The concept of renewable energy, energy generated from natural resources such as sunlight, wind, rain, tides, and geothermal heat, is the modern alternative energy. About 18% of global energy consumption comes from renewables, the majority of which is biomass, such as wood burning, with the second largest being hydroelectric. Opponents to the use of alternative energies suggest four key concerns. One, they may create pollution. Two, they may be dangerous. Three, they take up large amounts of land. And four, are they even capable of generating a large amount of energy. Well, number one, do these alternative energies create pollution? Sadly, yes. Most renewable energy sources don't actually produce the pollution themselves per se, but the materials, industrial processes, and construction equipment used to create them does generate waste and pollution. Some renewable energy systems actually create environmental problems, but in comparison to non-renewables and conventional sources, they are very clean. 2. Can these alternative energies be dangerous? Well, when farms kill birds, not as often as people think, but it happens, hydroelectric plants kill fish and damage habitats, and biomass fuel emits carbon. Nevertheless, more alternative energy sources are far less damaging than fossil fuels. Number three, will these alternative energies take up large amounts of land? They may. In the U.S., crops grown for biofuels are the most land and water intensive of all the renewable energy sources. About one-tenth of the nation's corn crop, covering 10 million plus acres of farmland, was used to produce 4 billion gallons of ethanol, which equates to only about 2% of annual U.S. gasoline consumption. So is that space really utilized? No. Still, we should note that if the land wasn't being used for these types of alternative uses, the conventional uses take up just as much space. Vast strip mine areas and slag mountains for coal, safety zones around nuclear power plants, and hundreds of square miles being strip mined for oil sands. Number four. Will the alternative energies be capable of supplying enough power? Uh, this one's kind of easy. There is no shortage of renewable energy on Earth. The amount of solar energy intercepted by the Earth every minute is greater than the amount of energy the world uses in fossil fuels each year. The energy in the, the winds that blow across the United States each year could produce more than 16 billion gigajoules of electricity which was more than one and one-half times the electricity consumed in the U.S. in 2000 alone. And tropical oceans absorb 560 trillion gigajoules of solar energy each year, equivalent to 1,600 times the world's annual energy use. So that will not be a problem. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. What do you think is the most feasible alternative energy? We most likely all agree that it has to be a renewable, but which one, which resource provides the most bang for the buck and is the cleanest of all of them? Which resource can be harnessed and structurally built fast enough in order to accommodate the growing energy demands of the world? The best answer most likely is to pursue a diverse range of energy resources. But I personally foresee a major shift in the distribution of these alternative energies. Basically, instead of relying on centralized power plants and then creating a network of transmission lines to get the power out, I hope we will see more and more small, local, personalized generation. The use of renewable energy produced on-site 
reduces burdens on electricity distribution systems overall. Current systems, while rarely economically efficient, have shown that an average household with an appropriate sleep size solar panel needs electricity from outside sources for only a few hours per week. We have the energy. We are working on the technology. We need only the follow through. That includes myself. But then again, I guess maybe we'll figure out fusion and supply everyone with unlimited power forever, for free. This is Caleb Brees. What do you know?